it brings tears to my eyes because it's like makes me very happy to see people out there really caring for other people. Money, give us some money. You hear the one guy out there, he's out there screaming, money. Like, hey, give me money, give me. It's just, it's amazing. Like, there's just no words for it. It's just love. That's, that's the only way I can describe it. It's love, you know. Tattoo Savior owner Daniel Byers believes the fundraising effort started by the Historical Society is a testament to unbreakable bonds in this community. It's devastating to, to go a week with no income. It's just devastating. And, um, and we, we want them to be here. Once these repairs are made, we want them to survive and still be here. The goal is to raise at least $1,000 for each of the six businesses that were affected, including Zimmer Printing. Anything can snowball real quick. If you miss a, you know, I mean, things could happen. Zimmer Printing has been here since the late 19th century. Right next door is Buyer's Tattoo Shop, which also sustained serious damage. They're ripping things up. They're finding out there's even more and more damage. So there's no even telling how long this is all going to take. Buyer's estimates he could be looking at up to $100,000 in damage. So surreal that we're in this situation and you just don't realize it until it happens and then you don't think it's really that bad and then you start to find out it's so bad. 100% of the proceeds will go to merchants. That's good news for the business owners who still have bills to pay. Reporting from Monongahela, Mike Valenti, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.